Bangadang Farm. It's time for our monthly recap, a video on everything we did this month. Starting off October, we dedicated time to completing general farm maintenance tasks. Any farm owner knows the daily tasks that go into maintaining the farmland. Weeding, trimming plants, amending fences, fixing roads, the list goes on. Bangadang Farm is almost a thousand acres, so we are no stranger to maintenance and are constantly upkeeping the farm. A big project last month was the avocado harvest, which we finished up in the first couple of weeks of October, and now we're also watching our newly planted trees come to life as they start to grow. We've been wrapping up the installation of the irrigation for these new trees, as well as the newly planted truffles. But now with spring in full swing, we've been busy planting more seedlings, including sunflower seeds, chilies, tomatoes, various squashes and flowers. We're playing with the greenhouse setup to make it an inviting and functional space, somewhere everyone can enjoy gardening all year round. The drainage work was completed for our new small marron processing room we're creating in our shed. Our aim with this is to be able to sort, process and pack our own marron from this year's harvest. We continue our commitment to the food forest and becoming fully organic, so we've been spraying the multi-craft product across both here and the avocado orchard. We've also been picking the new fruits that are starting to ripen. The mulberries were first to come in abundance, so we've handed these over to the house to make mulberry jam. We had visitors from the Bee Friendly Farming Certified Group who chose our farm to include in their showcase that they'll be launching near the end of the year. They filmed us speaking about our food forest and bees and the benefits of being a bee friendly farm. To manage water quality and sediment control in our dams, we have installed silk curtains. These are already showing their benefit and vital role in keeping the dam water clean. The last of our sheep were shorn and we welcomed some more animals onto the farm. Firstly, our neighbours gave us their two goats, so we've been introducing them to the alpacas. Jenny is the white sunnen and Tabitha is the brown boar. They're super friendly and love being fed. We also welcomed a new rare breed flock of Ryland sheep. This flock was chosen to be pet sheep. Coming from over east, they're the only known Ryland flock in Western Australia. On the last week, some of the team headed out to sea, a really enjoyable break which refreshed us for the end of the year. We'll be back next month with a new update. Make sure to subscribe to follow us on our journey and check out our Instagram for weekly updates. It's just at Bangadang Farm. Mm -hmm.